I'm a bit nervous. I hope I can do it in the English language. It goes back to the lady who asked you, AJ, about how is it ex to explain, like Africa, other countries, yep. children, innocent born, um, starving, and you explained, sorry, <laughs> and you explained, and I totally agree, that it starts with the parents. Yep. Yeah. And society. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, my question is, you brought one point up where my question turns around. You said something. There is also something already in the in the soul of the child, because I have two questions. One is, some children um, there is everywhere spiritual influence. Some children contacted by spirits. So, where is, and we just can be contacted or receiving this, if there's already a field in us who have this attachment, is this something who is also created, passed on from our parents to us? Or is it coming already when our soul comes in this life, given on the way by God? And um, the other question had... Can I, can I before you ask the other yes, question, yes, there's a fair bit course. in this question that you've of just course. asked. So, so let's focus on that question. The answer is very similar to the answer that I've already given in a, in a lot of ways. So let's, let's, look at, let's look at it in terms of what's actually happening. Many children are overcloaked by spirits from the moment they are conceived. Right? So even while they're in the womb of their mother, many spirits try to attach to this child. And often a lot of congenital defects are caused through these attachments. So this is why many children now are born as well with congenital defects and other problems because they've already had their body's energy systems while they're growing distorted by the attachments of these spirits. The, the issue they face though is this. The parents have some emotional holes, some things going on inside of them that causes the child to be exposed to these, these events. In other words... If the parents changed what was happening inside of them, the child would no longer be exposed to those external influences. And in fact, in a perfect situation, the way God created it perfectly, once the parent had healed all of their own emotional injuries that are out of harmony with love, they would not be able to give birth to a child that had any defect. Right? They also would not be able to give birth to a child that was overcloaked by a spirit. Because such a, such as no spirits could even penetrate the protective barrier of love that surrounded the child. So the fact that these events happen are all part of what we've been discussing. They are all still a part of what's going on at the society level and at the family level in terms of what the law of attraction is bringing the parents in particular. Now, if you think about it again. And I said this earlier, but it's very important to understand. If a parent does not change their behaviour because of what's happening to their child, then is there any hope that they'll change their behaviour for anything else? Highly unlikely, isn't it? So, so this is what we need to bear in mind. If we are not able to love our own children by taking responsibility for our own unhealed emotions and working our way through them, then it's highly unlikely we'll be driven to do that for any other reason. And this is a beautiful gift God's given us in a way to, to expose to us either the extent of our love or the extent of our unloving behaviour. The fact that so many bad things happen to children on this planet is an indication as a society that we have a lot to learn about love. Yeah. And this is something that we are attracting to tell us Mm, we have a lot to learn about love still. Yeah. And even if we looked at the physical things that are happening to our children, I don't know, for those of you who have had children, usually within the first few weeks or months they get sick, don't they? Have you noticed that? And we all say the same thing generally, and that is we go, oh, that's because they haven't developed an immunity yet to, to that particular thing, or things like that. No, that's what we say. What a silly concept if you think about it. The reality is I have and my, and my wife or partner has an immunity to those things now. Why didn't that immunity enter the child? It doesn't make any sense. They're living in the womb of their own mother. Surely the immunity would somehow enter the child if we 
dealt with something. So the, the reality is even every sickness our children get is a reflection of something going on inside of ourselves, something that's going on that we need to address that is out of harmony with love. And if we address it, we have the potential to change it. See, as soon as we address it, it will instantly change. In fact, the law of attraction is perfect in this operation, just like all of God's laws. And so therefore, the instant that we address the issue is the instant the issue is solved. Yep. And that's the beauty of being able to measure it, is that you instantly know you've resolved the problem. And I feel that's one of the problems that we face on the planet with regard to everything we analyse with regard to sickness and disease and other trauma and other pain. We, we have a tendency to search for somebody to blame who is not ourselves. We do not take responsibility for the fact that we have attracted the event. And because we're unable to do that, we never address the emotional or the soul-based condition that causes the event. Right? Now, because of that, our law of attraction, or when you say our law of attraction is not the right way to say it, God's law of attraction is going to expose to me the fact that I'm continuing to avoid responsibility and what the cause is. And this is what I feel is happening on the planet with so many different things and issues, and in particular with issues involving children, uh, you know, what we call human rights or lack of love towards other people, a lack of love towards our environment, a lack of love towards the animals and other, and other living organisms on the planet, our lack of love towards nature. These are all things that are demonstrating to us our lack of love that's inside of our soul. And if we address the cause, we can solve all of these problems. Every single one of them can be addressed and solved. In the case of the cause of a spirit attachment with a child, if the parents work through their emotional situation and work through why they attracted such an event, then they would cover over the whole inside of themselves that created the event and the child, the spirit who's attached to the child would leave the child. Right? So, so that's the answer to that specific issue. But the reality is that it's the same answer for every issue. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah.